Hola y bienvenido a GSPC Fishing in Riviera Maya, Mexico. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm on holiday at the moment, as you can tell, because I know the UK is not like this. Um, I'm currently in Mexico, um, Caribbean sign. Um, I've managed to sneak in a rod into my bag. So I'm only gonna do one little session. I might get a second in, don't know. But it's half six now. And I'm walking through my resort to get down to the beach and it's pretty spectacular this resort down in uh, Riviera Maya this is a uh, Serenis resort Grand Serenis and the wildlife here is amazing you've literally got like coatees running around everywhere you've got black iguanas that just walk straight up to your sunbed um it's not a lot out at the moment the sun's not up but um yeah it's pretty cool it is pretty cool raccoons um snakes haven't seen one of those yet also before before we got here actually there was a report on their facebook page of a jaguar jaguar just walking through the resort so <laughs> there's some pretty cool wildlife to be seen here um, I'm just heading through the resort. Oh, there we go, there's a cote. Just uh, going up the bank there, but they are everywhere. Hello, mate. Oh, where are you going? Oh, and when I say they're everywhere, this is what I mean. There they are, they're babies, all in the bushes there. They're these little scavengy animals that are everywhere. Hello, mate. <laughs> they are pretty friendly. There's monkeys here as well. You're, you're sort of walking along and then a monkey jumps down from a tree. It's a pretty cool. Anyway, the sun, well, the sun's not up yet. It's been getting light for about 10 minutes now. So I'm gonna head down to one spot that I've really seen. It's got a little bit of depth. All I've got is a box of lures. I'm gonna see if we can get a fish. I'd like a cuda, I'd like a nice, decent barracuda pushing double figures, but I mean, let's just, fingers crossed for a fish first, and we'll go from there. I'll show you what I'm using through this video. But let's get to the mark, get fishing. Well, here we are, we're on the rock. So let's have the first cast. Make sure everything's set up. A little bit more drag on that. Now the setup is pretty straightforward. I've got a five piece travel rod, which is a bison. And these are available like on eBay, these bison travel rods. Um, this one, I've custom built myself because they don't have very good guides on them. So I've built this myself, but the blank is absolutely fine for um, for this sort of fishing. The blank's pretty strong. It's just the, the guides and the reel seats that are not that great. And then I've got my Penn Battle 4000, which has got 25 pound braid on it. I've got a 40 pound fluorocarbon shock leader. And on the end, the lure that I always start with is the hardcore minnow, the, Yuzu, the Duel hardcore minnow 90. And let's see what that goes like for the first 10 minutes or so.
literally just turned this bloody camera off and I've just got a take right in front of me. Oh, how annoying. Literally just took the camera off, bang, saying hit it. It was on for about a second. How frustrating was that? Oh, yeah, something there. Go on. Ah, uh, what's, what's wants it? What wants it? Something's out there. Something is out there. Come on, take the bloody bait. Could be a trigger fish and they don't take these very well. Come on, what is out there? Take the bait. Or the lure. It's not a bait, is it? Come on, hit the lure. Is he gone? Ah, ha, ha, ha. There was something in front of me there. Might have been a small jack or something. That's a little bit annoying. Yes! We've got something here. Come on, baby. What have we got? What have we got here? Oh, don't go around that rock. Hey, a little cuda. What I wanted. Where you going, mate? Put up a nice little scrap. Don't around that rock. Don't around that rock. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Come on. Come on. What a nice little scrap this is. Come on, come back this way. Around that rock. Oh, I don't like that. Around that rock. Where are you going, mate? I don't want to put too much on this. Right, there he is. Oh, it's not a bad little coup, though, to be honest. Where is it? Come on, here you come. Let's go down to the water here. So I'm getting around here. Where is he? In front of me. No, it's not a cooler. What is it? Oh, is it a ladyfish? That's a ladyfish. Nice, we'll take that. Decent size. That was nearly me going for a swim. Right. Get him up on the next wave, there we go. Up we go. Hey, first fish. Look at that. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Stunning. That's got to go a good two, three pound. Try and get a nice little clip of that. I want to get a video of a selfie. Let's see if I can get a selfie. Right. Right, let's get this fish back. This is not an easy way to get down actually to be honest but we're down right off you go mate go on swim off and he swam off he's gone lovely well i have to say i'm really happy with that i think that's a ladyfish um never caught one before um and from what I've seen, I think that's quite a decent, not a bad size. So I'll take that. I've got to change treble on my lure though. So I'm going to quickly, quickly uh, change the treble on my lure. I'm going to carry on with that one for a bit as I've had a couple of takes and then maybe change it as the sun comes up a bit. Right, well, that's that's all changed, which um, 
wasn't easy with them tiny little o-wings and no uh split ring uh pliers on me but i've done it we're back out fishing we'll give this lure another five minutes or so and if there's nothing we'll switch it up i wouldn't mind actually i've got a couple of little jigs might jig here i wouldn't mind getting a trigger fish but i'm just actually happy that i've got something Oh yeah, we got something else. Now, what's this? And again, same thing? Yeah, same thing. Another lady fish, I think. Here it comes. I wonder if it's the same one. I hope not. But he hasn't got as much fight, so it might be the same one. Or is he smaller? I don't know. Ah, he's a bit smaller, this one. Hey, and there he goes. Oh, it is the same one. The same one there. I've just taken my lure. He's sitting down there. I wonder if he'll go for it a bloody again. Oh, something hit then. Maybe it wasn't the same one. I don't know. A few little knocks, I might try a smaller lure, I don't know. Right, last cast before I change this lure. Let's get that out there. Right, let's go. Come on, fish. I might jig something along the bottom. Got these little octopus jig things. I'll try one of these little octopus jigs. See if I jig that across the bottom. See if we hit anything. It's very small. Small enough for a trigger fish or something like that. But they fly out. So that's a that sink. Wind's catching the line, maybe it's a little bit too light. Too sure. Oh, what was that there? Come on, what we get? Yeah. Right, let's have a few casts with this. I'm not too convinced on this. One more with this, I think. Don't like it. Not liking this.
we've got something hey we've got something on, on the jig third cast we've got something on this jig it's a decent fish as well <laughs> what's this oh is it the same again got some, oh no it's different what have we got here what have we got on this little jig i was going to give up on it because i didn't really like it but maybe i do now is it a snapper oh yeah it might be a little snapper or something i'm not sure what it is but we've got it all right let's get him up come on baby up you come look at that beautiful well there we go look at that that's a snapper of some sort i'm not up on my caribbean species but look at that that is stunning we'll get a photo of him wow beautiful look at the teeth there we go right let's get him back that's how he goes back there we go he's gone down to the bottom lovely right well not bad two fish in about half hour what are you gonna do about an hour and a half so let's try again with this little octopus jig i didn't like it <laughs> i get very um quick to judge quick to judge on the old lures i uh, judged that one too quick third cast got a fish let's see if we can get another one. fish different one that's why i'm on a bit of a hey there we are straight away look at that straight into a fish what we got here oh i quite like this jig now <laughs> change opinions very quickly what do we got i don't think it's big oh no he's ca he's trying to get in the rocks where are we going i don't know if it, it's got a bit of weight actually what is this I go around there no it's not it's small oh yeah oh is he different he's a bit different what's this then what is that what have we got this time well he's grunting so maybe he's grunt he's a cool little fish look at that Oh, he's cute. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that word with a fish, but he's a cute little fish. I like him. Gonna have to look up what he is. Got a nice trigger on the back there. What is that? Let's get this hook out. Look at that. That there. Wow. That's cool. Let's get a photo. Right, just getting back. There he goes. And off he swims. Beautiful. Let's go again. Let's go again. All right, that's out there. So that sink. go it's on the bottom oh something there was that rocks i think we're on the rocks here yeah it's rocky there a big boulders there The key to anything like this, when you're going on holiday and you're lure fishing, don't go too big. Don't come here thinking you're gonna hook into, oh, we're saying following that, what's following that? Don't go here thinking you're gonna hook into like a 20 pound cuda or, or, or like a 
15 pound jack or something lower your expectations have a bit of fun and you never know if it's meant to be it's meant to be oh ah see that's a rock it's a bit snaggy there but i think that's where the fish are Well, we'll give this a couple more and then we will uh, change it up a bit see if we can get something else fish in front of me oh big fish in front of me what is oh an eel I've got a massive eel in front of me I wonder if I can hook it Let's see if I can hook that eel big more eel I wonder if he'll go for it look at that he's big can you see him down there Massive more AU right on the surface. Wow. I don't know if you can see that, but there was a big more eel. Just having a having a nose around below my feet. Normal in normal circumstances I would have got a camera down there, but I've only bought the one. Obviously I'm on holiday. I don't think I've ever tried this one, so I'm going to try the Jacko um, MR. It's got a bib on it. I don't know how deep it'll go. I don't know if I'm going to get snagged. So we get that clipped on. Give that a few casts. Well, this Jacko is running. Well, it's running at a night step, but I think there's some rocks that really do stick up out there. Well, unless I am getting tiny little things no yeah look at that don't lose in there yeah got him up right let's swap this he runs too deep I will lose him he's a floater with a bib let's get him out see what we can get with this these cast quite well I can't remember what they're called uh, inshore an inshore Oh, I can't remember. But they cast quite nicely. Oh, he runs at a good depth. I like that. Right, that is my last cast. My last cast of today. I'll quickly show you my lure box. Oh, there's an offer. Right, that's that done. So here we go, before I go, I'll quickly show you the selection of lures I've taken. Nothing massive, you can see in the top there, there's a couple of sort of 120s, I think that's maybe a 110, um, and some two and a half ounce needle um, GT ice cream needle nose. 
another one there. But the majority of these are small, small uh, hard lures. A few jelly lures. And then some jigs. All between sort of, well, those small ones are probably like 15 grams the smallest ones. And then up to, up to 35, 40 grams. Largest in length is probably about 110. Nothing bigger than that. And I haven't used half of these. <laughs> well, that is it for a little short session in Riviera Maya. I'm quite happy with that. Three fish, hooked another lady fish. I think it was the same one. Uh, the mangrove snapper. I'm pretty sure it's a mangrove snapper. Uh, I don't know what the other one was. Um, I'm going to have to look that one up. Um, but happy with that. I've fished areas like this, little fishing for hours and not had a fish. So um, to come down here and just get some bites straight away. I think I was at a good state of tide. I didn't even look the tide up, to be perfectly honest. It'd be at this, the end of this video. But um, I think I was high or just after high. So just as the sun's coming up, those two together obviously worked quite well. But um, pleased with that. Now I'm off to get an all-inclusive breakfast. Put a stone on the belly. Anyway, until next time, tight lines. <laughs>